Hello. Hello. So we're in Guatemala. So I don't know. So this is crazy, right? I don't know where we're here. <laughs> Basically, we took him to my motherland, my other motherland. Yeah, it's my first day today, guys. So I look tired, but um, I'm ready to, you know, explore. Explore the first day and. We'll do more stuff tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. And then he'll get to meet my family for the first time. Yeah. Get to see Yepokapa. And just record all around. So right now we're going to... El uh, A little mercado. How do you say mercado? Like a... Mercado? Like it's a store? Market, market. Market? Yeah, market. Well, we're going there and see what's around there. Probably buy some stuff. Souvenir shopping. Yeah, and just look at this. There's a volcano right there. Yeah. It's just so nice. You see the the floor, it's like rocks. So far, I, I'm liking it. It's you give me the the vibes from like a Spanish vibes. Spanish vibes. You know, it looks like an old city. Like it's just so cool. Like I met like one guy and he was telling us a story about the Ark. The Arco de Santa Catalina. El Arco de Santa Catalina. And. Uh, it was he, he was really cool about it he was telling me all the story behind it and i had to buy something though oh yeah <laughs> he bought he totally got scammed four dollars his first souvenir scammed but uh i mean people so far it looks like they're really cool friendly friendly and we'll see what happens but it looks nice <laughs> I don't know where she's taking me I think we're lost no we're not I'm taking you to a mascot go that way it's always fun to get lost though yeah, I mean, it's a little pueblito, so... Yeah, you're safe. I'll find my way <laughs> to my Airbnb. <laughs> you talking about that? Do you remember where it is? You didn't even say the location. I did say it. I mean, I know where, where it's oh, called. Oh? Alright guys, we have finally made it to the market and mercado. We are gonna see what's in there. You can find clothes cheap cheap. We'll see if we can find clothes for cheap cheap because this is like a like, like a tourist mercado. A lot of tourists come to this little market close to Antigua this is like a downtown so they know the tourists are coming so prices goes goes up yeah someday but uh, we'll see oops I almost get ran over <laughs> anything here you can find socks you can find shirts shoes hats impresora oh and here you're gonna find 
de terminal de los camionetas. Terminal de camionetas. Yeah, the, like the bus stops area. Oh. Like a bu bus campo, whatever. So like if you need transportation, you'll find all the buses there. Oh, okay. I mean, it's easy to get around. There is like taxis, tuk-tuks. Yeah, but if you want to go farther out of Antigua, yeah, you gotta take a bus. bus. Which is not that expensive. It's just like ten dollars the most. No, way cheaper. Or way cheaper. I don't know. When I'm just saying salis, the price. That's like four dollars. She said like four dollars. So ten dollars kept giving you wrong information. Wow, well, this is my first time here, so I have no idea. That's pretty cheap. Oh, this fruit that I was. That's the fruit I was talking about. your <laughs> camera. Mira, ¿se ha dicho de qué? De criadilla. Bull balls. That is bull balls. You see this? Bull balls. <laughs> Didn't my dad say that? I will not eat ceviche <laughs> of bull balls. You have to. They, you know what they say? <laughs> they say the men, only the men, manliest man eats those type of ceviche. <laughs> you have to try it now. <laughs> I don't know about that. I want to get home. <laughs> I want to get home. Literally, I want to get home. I'm trying to spend my days in here healthy. Oh, you guys, I have, I just got a Rolex, As <laughs> Guatemala Rolex. <laughs> so the guy told me 200 and I told him no, 80, so I got it for 80, Quetzales, which is like $10, so yeah, I mean, it looks nice. Rolex. Now we're gonna show him the campo de, de, de camionetas. El campo de camionetas. That's the one that we would have had to take. So this is like bus stop. Yeah, like this is like if you need a, you know, if you're ready to leave Antigua and you're trying to go to like, you know, somewhere else, this is where you'll find your bus. Just, you hear Chimal Aparamos? That's the one that we would have to take right now. So this is probably a dangerous place to be recording. Yeah, but me and Michelle don't know that, so Dedication. we're just recording. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show them the buses, look, like this is like a school buses, but like they do the like a decoration, <clears throat> they have like a decoration and like colors, like light blue, blue, orange, it's so nice, and there is a market and there is a show. So now we're going to go to the Mercado Tipico where you can find like all the, you know, souvenirs and stuff that are not clothes. <laughs> Kevin almost got ran over. Pues vamos. So, welcome to El Mercado de Artesanías. What do they sell there? Like, todo típico de guate. Todo típico de guate. So, vamos a ver qué hay por aquí. Oh, that's the Ark. We went there. It's pretty cool.
All this is stuff that you can find in here. I don't remember. Is it amigo? Camisa. 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 These are with the indigenous wear. Okay, you guys, so we're finally here by the Arco. So, basically, the whole story about this arch is that nuns were basically hidden because you know they got pregnant by the pastor so they needed to build something to hide the nuns from you know the public when they mm -hmm. needed to cross the street so basically what we were told is that ark has tunnels inside of it yeah, right there you see they go Under up the, there yeah. and then they go through that tunnel across the street so they cannot yeah, they be go, seen yeah. So when they want to go one place from another, they'll go through there, cross the arc, and then basically, you know, they'll get to their next location without having like anybody from the town see them. Because of course, as you know, nuns can't get pregnant and let alone pregnant from pastors. Right. So that's the story of the arc of Santa Catalina. That's the story that we told. Yeah. Pretty cool. Interesting. Thank <laughs> you.